All right, guys. Here's part two of Bart's PC tune-up. Um, I believe we were talking about malware bytes before I ran out of footage. I haven't tried 1.4 yet. I have 1.39, but you can you might as well just grab the newest and latest and greatest. <laughs> Whether or not you want to grab it from a torrent, that's cool. Just make sure you got a vast. That's all I got to say. Um, download this. Install it. Make sure everything's good. Download the free version. Alright. After you download it, it'll put an icon on your desktop like this. Alright, what you're going to want to do is... At first, I always perform a quick scan because it only takes like 30 seconds or some shit. So, um, let's go ahead and run that. First, always make sure it's up to date. Yeah, it was up to date. I mean, as of a couple days ago, but I'll check it real quick. Alright. Good stuff. Fuck no, I don't want to restart my computer, piece of shit. Alright, do a quick scan. It usually takes about uh, two or three minutes. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pause it so we don't fucking waste all of our tutorial time right now. Alright, well, that sucks. Um, my computer's clean. Well... I guess that kind of sucks for you guys. Uh, same thing as Avast or Super Anti Spy or any other program. It, it provides a list of every single thing that it finds here. You're going to want to check everything no matter what and, and make sure you hit remove. See, I, I had everything clean because you know, that's what I do. I, I keep my computer clean as hell. Um, There's another great program that you guys need to, to get to stay safe. Um, this tutorial I'm gonna stick with teaching y'all how to tune some stuff up alright so pay attention first thing I do when I'm going to actually make a computer faster I right click I go to properties I see how much memory the person has yada yada this computer is three years old and it's still fast as fuck I mean I only have two gigs of memory and a, you know a dual core 2.1 AMD um, system still fast as hell system restore garbage don't ever use this program because if you go and you install a bunch of new stuff since you want to go restore on top of that it's going to corrupt your programs your data everything it's nothing but a headache not only that when you do system restore you're backing up any viruses and trojans that your system had back in the day so I always turn this off alright I don't care what anybody says turn that off you can always run an overlay of windows on top of itself if you got an issue uh, anyway, to, on to making your computer faster, which that will make your computer faster, by the way. Go under performance, hit settings. Always put it on choose for best performance. And that's going to take all the checks off, but put the last four checks on here. Hit apply. No, I'm not doing coke. I just woke up and I have allergies, so blow me. All right, click on advanced. Scroll down here to the bottom. Always set a custom size to double what your memory is. So in other words, I have two gigs of memory, so I set this to 4,000. Set the initial size and the maximum size to the exact same. If you fluctuate that, I've done a massive amounts of research. It actually does slow your computer down. So when you set your paging file to a specific size, it works perfect. All right, so type that in, type that in, whatever twice your memory is. If you can't, if, if you're terrible at math, type in calc. Freaking bring up your calculator, you lazy bastards. Um, hit set. Hit OK. And I'll probably ask if you want to reboot your computer, but I'm not doing that for obvious reasons. Um, automatic updates. I'm a firm believer. They haven't let me down yet. Um, always leave that on automatic. All right, because some updates actually do help your computer. So. That's another thing that I do. Um, 
Another program that I grab to tune up computers with would be uh, go to www.tuneup.com. All right, and what this is, Tune Up Utilities 2009. Grab the free trial, okay? It's only good for 30 days, but I recommend you guys torrent that shit because this program is pretty much foolproof and it works amazing. Just hit start download. Don't type your email address in. Believe me, you don't want to be on a mailing list. Um, download that, install it. It'll ask you if you want to update it, but there's no updates for this program whatsoever. Um, it'll ask you if you want to run. Don't run the program. Close it. Go back to your desktop. You'll see Tune Up One Click Maintenance. Like I said, it'll ask if you want to update it. No, I don't because there's actually no updates and it's a waste of time. Now, what this does, checks everything from your system components all the way to if you need a defrag. All right, it checks it all. Um, checks your programs, structural defects, all that kind of nerdy stuff that most people don't know what the hell it is. Um, to try to do something like this on your own would, would take hours. This program does it all in one step for you. So... It's pretty cool. It fixes broken links and shit. Like if you got a, a link on your desktop that doesn't work, it'll either fix it or delete it for you. Um, your history lists and shit. If there's, you know, something that's no longer there, it'll remove it so you don't try to click on something. Temporary internet files, temporary files on your computer, it removes those too. There's no point in having those. They just take up space. Um, it'll also check to see if you need a defrag. Uh, which I've already mentioned, and defrag actually does speed up your computer. It puts everything in order to where everything loads faster and everything works better. Uh, personally, I, I defrag once a week. That's what I have this program configured to do. It'll definitely speed your system up. Look, man, I just ran this a couple days ago, but I've installed a bunch of programs. Look, 204 problems found in my programs. What is it going to do? It's going to fix it. I probably don't need to defrag because I just did a couple days ago. Hurry up, we don't have much time here. Alright, I'm going to stop this till that uh, finishes analyzing. Alright. Actually, it says I do need a defrag, but fuck that for right now. Um, I'm going to hit correct problems and show you all how fast this is. Boom. I'm skipping the defrag, though. Um, it fixes everything that fast, and it tunes it up, makes it run freaking beautiful, man. Beautiful. Another thing that I do, guys, is I go into my computer. I right-click on each partition, hit properties. Take the check mark off, allow index service. All that does is slow down how long it takes because it's trying to cache everything that's on your drive and that always changes. So, um, apply changes to subfolders, files, all that kind of crap. And this takes a while, so I'm going to pause this shit again. Alright, now that that's done, um, that's the last pretty much speed PC tune up portion of this aside from the internet part which I'm going to get into real quick, make sure I still have enough time. Um, you're going to want to go to this website right here, just type it in. I'll probably paste it into the video link, just so you can click on it on the right-hand side. Um, go to this website, scroll down to where it says Internet, and you're going to want to download TCP IP Optimizer, okay? And uh, let's see here. Launch it, and you're going to want to do Optimal Settings here. And if you have wireless and wired, do modify all network adapters. Again, choose optimal and hit apply. What this does is it tweaks all your TCP settings in the registry and allows you to get the maximum upload and download speed possible by XP. Um, I haven't tried it on Vista yet, but I'm pretty sure it still works on Vista. Another thing you want to grab is the slowdown fix. Read this right here. Basically, it's saying that back in Service Pack 1, there was an unlimited number of connections it would let you have, like for torrents and stuff like that. Well, 
Service Pack 2 and higher limits uh, the amount of simultaneous and complete outbound TCP connections, meaning that uh, it, it allows you like 10 per second instead of unlimited, to where it slows your torrents down quite a bit. So go ahead and download that. It'll be in the form of a zip file. Run this patch. It's extremely weird. It pops up some kind of thing. It like crashes one of your services. That's actually normal. It has to terminate the service to make the changes. So just let that run through. Reboot your computer and I guarantee you it'll be a lot faster on the internet and locally. Alright guys, till next video. Peace.